Hey everyone. So today I'm going to do a triptych. Um, my last painting, the greens, is not quite dry yet so I can't show it to you, but I am going to try that again, but I'm not going to use the olive. I'm going to stick with just the green phase of it. So I've got three little cups here that I want to try. And I'm going to use black, emerald green, aqua, and that sea mist, sea mist pearl. I was going to put a mic on, on my apron, but then my cord shows. So until I get a longer cord, we'll have to do it this way. So I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Um, I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> I can't yell. <laughs> well, I could, but you wouldn't like it. So... I think I'm going to put the white on first because they're such tiny little cups it won't be hard to flip them. So I'm going to move them out of the way along with my paint. I have got way too much paint mixed up. But we'll make do. Alright. So I'll get these coated first. And then we will mix our greens. I figured I would do these because I have two more sets of these that are dry and cleaned that need to be resin. So I thought, well, I might as well wait and do another set of these. I have a bunch of these canvases. They come three in a pack um, from Michael's. And when they have canvas 70% 70, 70 off, I buy a lot of different ones. And they had it again um, last week. And I went and bought more. I've got to stop buying canvas. But I did buy a bunch of 10 by 20s because we use those the most in the videos. So I didn't. Um, didn't waste money on that, so they're just nice to film with to give you an idea how to do a flip and drag, and that's how I learned from Ann Osborne. She's amazing. She's my inspiration for negative space. She's trying a lot of different things now, and I'm not that brave. <laughs> not yet, anyway. But I did buy um, a round board, so I'm hoping I can play with that here soon. It needs to be gessoed and sanded and gessoed before I can paint on it. But my, uh, my guy Dan is coming uh, next week to put my OSB board up in the garage. And then it will be so nice out here and it'll be cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter and it will just be so nice. So we did have chit chat on the phone this morning and decided that um, we'd do the OSB board instead of uh, drywall because drywall would make an awful mess and I have too many painting supplies out here. <clears throat> And I have nowhere else to put my stuff. So, short of covering it with plastic and waiting a week to get the work done, eh, it's just not in my, not in my world. So I'm, I'll be happy with the OSB board and I can hang all kinds of stuff on the wall and have my shelves put up and it'll just be so much better. So, I'm gonna, uh, you probably won't be able to see me pour these. Maybe I'll do them right here so you can at least see a little bit. I can't tell my monitor is not widescreen. Well, it's widescreen, but it's not showing everything. So I'm not sure how far out here you can see. Yeah, I know on the other videos I could see this, so, but I can't see it on my monitor. So I'm gonna kind of go the same way as before with the black first. And like I said, you don't need a ton of paint for these tiny little ones. Does 
emerald green looks like phthalo green. And I'm sure I didn't use up all that emerald green on the last one, so I'm pretty sure this is it. And I did not mark the tops. Because I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> I make my life harder. So I'm going to just do a touch of aqua. don't want this to be a super long video. I've got two more to shoot today, so we will see. Okay. So I have all that on there now. I should give them a little stir, so I'm just going to use a toothpick because I think the stick would be too big. Just doing a little star. Okay. So I'm going to do them all in the same spots and try to pull the same way. Actually, I'm going to do them in the middle. Shooting for, oh poop, <laughs> um, three mini flipping drags, <laughs> but I think it just ruined it right there, but I might be able to push it over the side. Oh, while we're waiting, I want to show you, do you remember the ice cube tray pour? Well, I have the dried right here. It came out beautiful. Dried beautiful, tons of cells, and I am going to resin this piece. It's just screaming, resin, resin. So that was that one. And then, I was not happy with the way that this one dried. Uh, it's video 43, it's very dark, but all the metallic is there. This probably would be gorgeous resin, but I'm going to have to paint the sides. This is the bad thing about silicone. But it was pretty. It came out pretty. Got the glare with the light. So that was that one. And then video 46 matches the big pour. Didn't come out quite as dark as the other one, but they do look great together. So I might be able to put two on a wall. Or I might be able to sell them as a pair, or I sell them individually. So that was for those. I have more in the house that are drying, so you'll see those later. I'm just going to go ahead and do like we do with the other ones. Oh, this scrape's horrible. These cups are not fun. And I'm at the wrong angle, too, so. Can you hear it scraping? I can. This one's so much lighter than that one. This is where I can show you that no canvas, or I'm sorry, no pour is exactly alike. Pretty. I'm just going to let it do its thing for a minute. I have a little spot here that needs to be filled, so I have to tip that one. So I'm going to set this one and the one in the middle aside while I work on this one. Here comes my UPS man. He's bringing me paint.
between my son ordering stuff from Amazon Pantry because he's on this protein kick and me ordering paint. <laughs> the UPS guy's here quite a bit. Oh, he's got more than one package. This ought to be fun. There's my puppy dog barking at him. It's hard to film during the day. It's just so much easier at night. I want to get rid of that black. make great canvases for those string pours, which I have not tried yet. That's next on my list of trying. I kind of like that one there. I'm going to leave that one alone because it makes all three of them different in their own way. And I really don't have to move that one. I just want to torch it. And I will hit it a little bit with the airbrush, but I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to. <coughs> I am still coughing that crap. I need to go to the doctor, I think. Get me an antibiotic or something. Not too much I want to change, but I have to have some wisp. Some wisp. bare spot. So yeah, I'm happy with those. They're all cute. Pretty pretty. I'm kind of hoping this will lace. Oh, it is lacing already. Give you a close up. There's one. I better move it back, I might drip on it. Oh, that's pretty. There's the middle one. I do have to clean up the sides, they're drippy, drippy looking. And then places. 
and then this was the first one that didn't have a lot of black in it. They are cute. So those will be adorable on a wall. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe. And click on the bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Click like and leave a comment and please share the video. Well, it's nice to see that some people are sharing them. I did the course, the nerd check, you know, got to get into the analytics of everything. So, but join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. And uh, I did post uh, dry paint, that dry painting today, so they got to see it first. Um, okay, but today is Tuesday, so you probably won't see this video until Thursday or Friday. But, uh, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, though, please do. Um, I'm trying to build up my uh, subscriber list so that I stay higher in the queue and that way everyone can see my videos. But, yep. Alright, everybody. So have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.